Also happening right now, hundreds are gathering for a vigil in Lisbon for the 18 people who died Wednesday night, as well as for the injured and their families. CBS 13's Owen Kingsley has been talking with people in the community. He's joining us there live. And Owen, you also spoke with a mother and a daughter who were very close to one of the heroes of these shootings. Good evening, Greg. Behind me is the first major vigil to begin the grieving process for this community. But yes, as you mentioned, I did speak earlier today with Madison Sanborn and her mom. Madison was a cornhole partner with Joe Walker, the manager of Schmenji's. She says that he was more than just a friend. He was an inspiration, especially now after his death. This community is still in mourning. Madison Sanborn is just one of those people who lost someone special in their lives, Joe Walker. Walker is being hailed a hero. Everyone knew I left Cornhole and played at Schmangies, and so I had three people text me being like, where are you, are you home, are you safe? I'm like, yeah, why, what's up? They're like, there was a shooting at Schmangies. A gunman came inside Schmangies Bar and Grill Wednesday evening after already shooting and killing seven people at a bowling alley and shot and killed eight more. Joe Walker's dad says his son attacked the shooter with a knife, losing his life while trying to save others. And risked his life for those people because that's just who he is. Madison Sanborn met Walker last year when he taught her to play cornhole. She says Joe took her under his wing and they became partners, winning several tournaments together. But her greatest memory isn't any of the wins, but when another of her playing partners inexplicably left in the midst of a tournament. That's when Joe gave her a pep talk, then hopped in to help her finish. That moment, I ended up crying, not because I lost, because of how grateful I was for Joe, and that he was there for me in that moment. This Sunday is Madison's 15th birthday, and she was going to spend it playing cornhole at Schmengi's with her partner Joe in a tournament that he organized. Instead, she found out Thursday from Walker's nephew, a classmate of hers, that he had died. Me, my mom, my sister all just broke down. We didn't know what to say or do. We just kind of cried it out. Since his passing, this cornhole community is paying tribute to Walker's sacrifice and passion for the game by signing up for his Sunday tournament, even though now it will happen only in spirit. We're going to heal and get better, and, and we're all here with each other to do so. so. So far, more than 9,000 people have signed up for Joe Walker's Cornhole Tournament. As for this vigil happening behind me, we'll have more details from here coming up during the 7 o'clock hour. Live in Lisbon, I'm Owen Kingsley, CBS 13 News. All right, Owen, so much sorrow, but so much strength as well. Thank you, Owen.